What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the latest Liverpool transfer news and what do you think about Jurgen Klopp saying that he would like to sign Christian Pulisic for Liverpool not necessarily this summer but in the next one or two years he's a huge fan of him and he knows him very well because they worked together at Borussia Dortmund he gave an interview which I will read to you guys before the Borussia Dortmund Liverpool uh, ICC Champions Cup game and Liverpool are in Charlotte on preseason tour and we are playing against Dortmund and against Christian Pulisic and I think it would make a lot of sense for Liverpool to sign him not necessarily this summer but in the next two years because he is the face of American football of USA football right now and potentially for the next 10 years he is the USA national team's uh, superstar and I think that would be an absolutely brilliant decision both in terms of uh, Pulisic could, could very well become a really really awesome player under Jurgen Klopp and also Think about the business opportunities uh, of the USA market for Liverpool and Liverpool want to get more popular in the USA that's why we are going there on pre-season tour and we went there after the previous World Cup in 2014 and I'm really looking forward to actually the rest of pre-season because we are playing some big teams we are playing Borussia Dortmund, Manchester City, Manchester United and also we are playing Napoli but that wasn't that we won't be in the USA if you enjoyed these types of videos please leave a like it really helps me out and subscribe turn on the bell notifications so you never miss a future upload and Jurgen Klopp said this about Christian Pulisic and I love this interview so he said he has a contract with Dortmund that's a problem <laughs> I just love this man so much uh, his sense of humor I just love watching his interviews more than any other Liverpool manager that I have been following you know I've been I've been a fan of this club for 18 years also shout out to all my fans in the Republic of Ireland or in Northern Ireland shout out to you guys and I quote Jurgen Klopp I know Christian I liked him since he was a kid he's a fantastic player it's deserved people think highly of him in Germany it's the same if he wants to play in England one day he has the chance to do so for sure but he's at a really good club already he had not his best season last year but he was a, still a decisive player but it's important there is no rush that's good and he wants to be the best Pulisic he can be if at one point he will join us I don't know but I like him we, we respect contracts there is no market I know about at the moment we did our business and Dortmund did theirs so read in between the lines Jurgen Klopp says here that Pulisic is not on the market at the moment and that's true Dortmund doesn't want to sell him at all he is one of their best players and it's true that Pulisic didn't have uh, his best season at Borussia Dortmund but remember that he this is just a kid we are talking about he's 19 years old and he still played 42 games uh, for Borussia Dortmund he played in the, the Champions League and in the Bundesliga quite a lot of games he scored five goals in this season he scored five goals in the previous season and he is still a player who is developing who is finding his feet at Bundesliga and I think it makes sense to just let um, Pulisic stay at Dortmund for another one or two years and maybe sign him uh sign him uh, like one or two years from now when he's a better player because at the moment Pulisic would command a very very big transfer fee because Borussia Dortmund don't want to sell him and he's not worth like 60 70 million pounds in my opinion and Dortmund wouldn't sell him for like 30 or 40 million his true market value right now in my opinion so maybe Jurgen Klopp is playing the waiting game he's a big fan of Pulisic and you can clearly see from his interview that he would absolutely love to work with him again I think they had a very good relationship when he was the Dortmund manager and also Pulisic burst through the scene uh, at Dortmund Pulisic didn't play many games on the Jurgen Klopp but he was at the Dortmund Academy and he was in the Dortmund second team when Jurgen Klopp was there Pulisic actually started in the 2015-16 season at Borussia Dortmund but he was at the club quite a few years uh, before that just uh, working in the background and 
I'm a really big fan of him. I watched quite a lot of interviews of Pulisic when we were linked with him. And remember that two summers ago, I believe, we actually made a bid for Christian Pulisic. Jurgen Klopp actually made a bid for Christian Pulisic like two summers ago, if I'm not mistaken. The bid was like an absolute joke, something like 13 million, which of course Dortmund said no. And it was on transfer deadline day, so it was a, it was just banter, maybe. <laughs> it wasn't a full serious bid, because if Liverpool see seriously wanted to get Pulisic, they should have uh, started bidding for him like a month before the transfer window ends and also a lot higher than 30 million. But at that moment Pulisic wasn't an established player and maybe Liverpool thought that it's worth just testing with the waters. But Dortmund knew what a talent, what a huge talent Pulisic was. And at that time Pulisic only tw played 12 games for Borussia Dortmund in his first season there but since then he played 43 and 42 games respectively so in just uh, two and a half seasons he has 97 appearances already and guess what as a 19 year old this blows my mind he already played 21 times for the USA national team scoring nine goals so he is the talisman already probably the best player in the USA national team and that is crazy to say at 19 years old and I it's such a shame that USA couldn't qualify for the World Cup because I would have loved to watch Christian Pulisic and it's virtually unheard of that USA don't make the World Cup because they have a qualification where the top four teams of the CONCACAF region go through and the fifth team play I think the fifth team does a playoff and USA finished in something like sixth place or something like that or or if they finished fifth out of six teams and the top four goes through I think that's what that's what it was and actually USA only needed a draw to finish fourth in that group and they lost to Trinidad and Tobago it says it all that Panama finished ahead of USA with a quite dodgy goal but that's just for another com conversation and what is also very very interesting about this Pulisic talk is that Pulisic's contract expires in 2020 so just two years from now and if he doesn't want to extend his contract and at the moment there is no indication that Pulisic wants to extend his contract next summer he could become a player who could realistically sign for Liverpool for a lot cheaper, maybe half of his market value. And if Dortmund fail to extend his contract, and that's just not, not just on Dortmund, Pulisic will, will know that uh, Liverpool and other clubs are interested in him. And the problem that Dortmund face, and, uh, and this is the problem for many Bundesliga teams uh, apart from Bayern Munich is that they cannot pay the wages of the likes of Liverpool can pay. If Pulisic wants to earn the wages that he probably deserves uh, if you look at his talent, he needs to move uh, to England or he needs to move to, to Spain. And I think English football will suit him because he, he is a player who is uh, really fast, really direct. He likes uh, the physical side of the game and he's a very skillful dribbler. Uh, usually he plays on the right side, but he can play on the left as well. And he is a winger who likes to cut inside as well. And he's a quite tricky player. And I, when I watch the Dortmund, you know, he, he is still raw. He is still a player that is under development. And you have to be clear about this, that at the moment, right now, I think Liverpool won't sign him because of, uh, first of all, because he's um, still in development. He's still not good enough to start ahead of Salah or ahead of Mane in this Liverpool team. And there is no point for Pulisic to come here and sit on the bench. We already signed Shakiri to be back up for Mane and Salah. And Pulisic needs to play games. He needs to stay at Dortmund for another one, maybe two years and develop further. And when he is good enough, to start for a team like Liverpool, that's when he should move. And Jurgen Klopp indicated this in his interview, and he knows full well that uh, that that's what Pulisic should be doing. But it is a move that would make a lot of commercial sense for a Liverpool's American owners. Remember that FSG are based in Boston and they know the American market a lot more than I do or many of you guys do or even Jurgen Klopp does and I think signing a, the face of uh, American football, the icon, the national like uh, 
biggest player in the Am in the in uh, the USA I think would make a lot of commercial sense imagine uh, the kind of deals that uh, Liverpool could do with the USA brands and we could do pre-season tournaments in the USA but also many of the people who love uh, watching sports in the USA they they are still slowly but surely turning to football and football soccer as they call it in the USA is getting more and pop more and more popular and there is a huge huge market in the USA which uh, of course a lot of Premier League clubs are fighting for that market more and more Premier League games are uh, you know broadcast in the USA and also signing Pulisic would make many many fans of uh, the USA national team fans of Liverpool as well because at the when the people who watch the USA national team and the people who like football in the USA, they love Christian Pulisic. So if Pulisic signed for Liverpool, many of them would, be a, would become Liverpool fans. And that is just a huge market for Liverpool and you cannot ign ignore that. And Christian Pulisic is definitely good enough to be, to be a Liverpool player. A very interesting interview surfaced of Roma boss Eusebio Di Francesco is actually wanting revenge on Liverpool. It's such a weird interview that he, we, he gave. Basically, he conceded that uh, Roma had uh, such a good offer from Liverpool, they, didn't, they couldn't turn it down and uh, they had to let Alisson go. But they are pretty salty about it, let's put it that way. And uh, he said this, I, we hope to meet Liverpool and to meet Alisson in the Champions League and beat him like I told him today when he came to say goodbye oh my goodness bring it on bro bring it on we've be we have beaten you and scored seven goals uh, against you when you had a world-class goalkeeper like Alisson so imagine what Liverpool could do to Roma in a two-legged Champions League tie with uh, like Liverpool improved massively we we now have you know Naby Keita, Fabinho, Alisson a world-class goalkeeper and Shakiri. and Roma I think is a weaker team because they lost a world-class goalkeeper what do you think about these crazy crazy transfer rumors that Barcelona are interested in Simon Mignolet I absolutely hate that Barcelona want to take our best players first it was Luis Suarez then it was Coutinho and now you want to take Mignolet as well come on now <laughs> of course I'm just joking Mignolet is nowhere near our best player you can have him I don't want Mignolet to be a Liverpool goalkeeper anymore I think he wants to play regularly and now it must be clear clear for Simon Mignolet that his time is up at Liverpool because we signed the world class goalkeeper in Alisson Karius will probably be our number two we already sold Danny Ward for Leicester that transfer is official 12 million pounds for Danny Ward who only played three times at Liverpool is a magnificent transfer business Michael Edwards I applaud you. You are the MVP. <laughs> you are the star of the Liverpool transfer window show. Absolutely brilliant. So, and uh, Mignolet's agent, Nico Weizen, said it does not change the situation. Uh, Liverpool signing Alisson. He's referring to our goal is to find a solution for Simo Mignolet to play, and the arrival of Alisson does not change that. We know that a player at 60 70 million euros does not put himself on the bench. We are looking at the situation and are looking for a solution for his playing time. There are options, the next few days will be decisive. Anything is possible, only one requirement a good team in a good competition. So it's clear that the agent of Mignolet is looking for teams uh, to to sign uh, to be signed um, they are looking at teams uh, who could sign Mignolet and I'm actually really really happy that finally after many many years he signed a goalkeeper who is world-class and who can improve Liverpool massively so very very happy about that let me know what do you think about all these stories in the comments below and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you later guys Good night.